Hello and welcome to Military TV. In this episode, we're going to talk about the Merkava tank made by Israel, one of the deadliest tanks in the world. In the past 40 years, just a handful of countries have proved themselves capable of building their own main battle tanks. One of these tank powers is actually one of the smallest countries in the world, Israel. Israel's main battle tank, the Merkava series, is one of the best designed tanks ever produced. So the Merkava is a main battle tank used by the IDF, Israel Defense Forces. The tank began development in 1970 and entered official service in 1979. It was first used extensively in the 1982 Lebanon War, and the name Merkava was derived from the IDF's initial development program name. Based on the history, we try to give a brief reason why the tank is built. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Israel's independence in 1948 saw the formation of the Israeli Defense Forces, and the IDF cobbled together a modest ramshackle tank force to repel attacks from neighboring Arab countries. By the 1956 war, the situation had improved considerably, and by 1967, Israel's armored corps basically won the Six-Day War with a blitz across the Sinai Peninsula and into the Golan Heights. The tanks, American M48 and British Centurion tanks, crushed the opposition and brought a quick end to the war. Israel's preemptive attack on its neighbors was not popular with some of its European allies. The United Kingdom canceled a joint tank development project with Israel. France embargoed further deliveries of Mirage fighter jets and missile boats. The lesson for Israel was to decrease its reliance on foreign powers for its armaments. And in 1970, the IDF began to develop a tank of its own. The job of making an Israeli tank a reality fell to Major General Israel Tal, former commander of the IDF Armored Corps and who led the 84th Armored Division to victory in the Sinai. Tal's project was a major challenge as Israel's military-industrial complex was in its infancy and the country had never built a large armored vehicle before. Working from a clean sheet, Tal could build a tank from the ground up, with Israel's tank warfare experiences baked in. Now we will show you the tank specifications in three attributes, firepower, mobility, and protection. Firepower. The tank's main gun was the 105mm M68 main gun, the same gun that appeared on the IDF Centurion, Patton, and M60 tanks. The tank carried 62 rounds for the main gun, slightly above average. The tank had three machine guns, including one coaxial 7.26mm machine gun paired with the main gun, and additionally 12.7 and 7.62mm machine guns up top for the commander and loader. These were useful for engaging enemy infantry, soft-skinned vehicles, and anti-tank missile teams such as the AT-3 Sagar crews that took a heavy toll in the 1973 Yom Kippur War. A burst of machine gun fire over the heads of a missile operator could throw a command-operated anti-tank missile off course, saving a tank and its crew. Mobility Mobility was the lowest of the three priorities for the Israeli tank, and the tank used just a 900-horsepower diesel engine to power a 63-ton hull for a horsepower-to-weight ratio of 14.5 to 1. As a result, the Merkava had a relatively sluggish top speed of just 28 miles an hour. Given that Israel is just 263 miles across at its widest point, it's hard to argue with making mobility the lowest priority. The last one is protection. The Merkava is protected by the Trophy Active Protection System, which uses a combination of turret-mounted sensors and explosively formed projectiles to shoot down enemy tank gun rounds, rockets, and anti-tank guided missiles. Trophy is combat proven, having saved several Merkava 4 tanks and their crews from anti-tank weapons fielded by Hamas in 2014's Operation Protective Edge in the Gaza Strip. 
The Israeli development team led by General Israel Tal integrated state-of-the-art technology with lessons of war in the concept and the design of the Merkava and all its future generations. Here are the four main variants of the tank that have been deployed. The first Merkava tanks, Merkava Mark I, were fielded in April 1979. Those tanks took part in actual operations during the Peace for Galilee War and proved themselves to be more effective than all other tanks in the theater. The second generation, Merkava Mark II, was first delivered in 1984. Production of this version began shortly after the adoption of the Merkava in 1983 and continued until 1989. It is basically the Merkava Mark I with extra armor and an improved fire control system. The third generation, Merkava Mark III, was introduced in 1990 and became the backbone of the Israeli Armor Corps. It features a larger gun, a threat warning system, and more advanced modular armor that can be changed in the field. The last one is Merkava Mark IV, which entered production in 2001. It is the fourth production model of the Israeli Merkava main battle tank series. The Mark IV offered improvements in firepower, protection, and mobility over the Merkava Mark III, but retaining the same unique troop section in the hull rear and the engine compartment in the front. In short, Merkava is a proven combat winner. While not the tank for every army, it is the perfect main battle tank for the Israeli Defense Forces. As important as tanks are to Israel's security, the country has already started development of a successor to the Merkava IV well before it reaches obsolescence. As Israel's enemies already know, the Merkava will be a tough tank to beat. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to click other awesome videos.